Hi, I'm Steve Rowe, CEO at Oaknall. I'm recording this video the afternoon of Thursday, August 1st. It will be uploaded and available to you by Friday, August 2nd. Another month has flown by. It's hard to believe that we're already in the last full month of summer and kids will be back in school in a few weeks. I, I really hope that your summer has gone well or is going well. It's like I know I, we've, we've been able to enjoy some time outside, a little bit of golf, not, not enough. Uh, and the weather has been pretty decent for the most part, except for all the rain. Uh, we can pretty much be assured that every Tuesday when we have an outdoor concert planned, it is going to rain on us. Uh, and our grass has needed lots of mowing at home because of all that rain. So, uh, so looking forward to, uh, to getting back into the school year coming up and Iowa football coming up here in just a few weeks now. I want to provide an update on the two leadership positions uh, that are open. We know that finding uh, someone with Kim's uh, combination of experience and education is quite unlikely. And to broaden our candidate pool as much as possible, we have posted a position that's a little bit different than what Kim's current job is. And it will allow whoever is hired to grow into her current position over probably one or two years. Um, we are accepting applications through the end of this week, but we do already have several uh, good qualified applicants, uh, both externally and we have at least one internal applicant. Uh, there are pros and cons to hiring both externally and internally. As we look at the internal candidates, um, they will come to Oak Knoll or come into this position knowing our community, uh, knowing the residents, knowing our team, and knowing the culture. What the internal applicant won't have uh, yet is uh, the licensed nursing home administrator uh, credentials. Uh, it is something that they can obtain and generally can obtain relatively quickly over basically 12 to 16 months. Um, but it is something that if we do decide to go with an internal candidate, we know that we won't have a licensed nursing home administrator initially and they will grow into the job uh, in that respect. As we consider external candidates, we're really only considering those who already come would come to us as a licensed nursing home administrator. Uh, so that will be a plus uh, for them. But on the negative side, it's like for the external candidates, they don't know the Oakland community, they don't know our residents. Uh, or our team, and they will need to grow into uh, kind of acclimating to our culture and, and it's like, so that, that always will take some adjustment period. Um, so pros and cons, we have not decided which way we will go yet. Uh, we intend to start the interview process next week and that will complete by mid the following week. So probably around August 12th or 13th, uh, we should be finished with the first round of interviews. And then it's like, we'll, we'll narrow down the candidate pool to really the top two candidates and then bring those two candidates back to meet with the team that they will be leading. Uh, we really do want to have input from, from the, uh, the inner, um, uh, from the department managers, uh, sorry there, uh, from the department managers that will work most closely with this position. Uh, interdisciplinary team is what I was trying to say a minute ago, uh, but just want to have buy-in and input from all of the people who will who will work most closely with this position. So that's kind of a quick update uh, with, with uh, Kim's position. We hope that we will be able to extend an offer around August 23rd, which would be three Fridays from now. Uh, so, so that's what we're looking at for Kim's position. Um, yep. Um, one, one other thing related to that is Kim's teaching responsibilities at the university start on August 21st. And we have the opportunity because of Kim's kind of gradual transition away from Oak Knoll. She, she will start teaching August 21st, but she doesn't need to, uh, to do 
her entire new job immediately and we'll have the opportunity to have some overlap with the new person hired uh, hopefully by the end of this month and then uh, with Kim kind of slowly transitioning out of her Oak Knoll responsibilities. So we do have that luxury for her position. For Josiah's position as Director of Environmental Services, we will not have that luxury. Uh, Josiah's last day with us, we believe, is uh, Tuesday, August 13th. Uh, so that's coming up in just over uh, a little over a, another full week from now. Um, we do have a good candidate pool for that position and have started to interview candidates and hope to actually offer the job by early next week for, for his position. Uh, so we, we won't have that overlap opportunity, but we do have a relatively stable EVS team right now in place. And while, while we have the gap in department manager position, uh, Retha Haas, our uh, chief operating officer for independent living, will kind of be the glue that, that holds that department together until we've got the new, uh, new manager in place. Um, that's really it for a staffing update. For our 1201 West Benton project, uh, I'm just looking every day and not seeing anything happen, uh, but we're, we're close to having things happen. The construction drawings are pretty much complete. The general contractor, which is a firm called DCI, uh, they have been receiving bids from lots of subcontractors for the, for the work that needs to be done. So there's an electrical subcontractor and a plumbing subcontractor and a framing subcontractor and all those different specialties that go into a construction project. Uh, so they've been getting bids and are in process of putting the construction team together and as soon as we get the site plan formal approval from the city uh, we should be ready to start work on the foundation there. Uh, it's been a little bit of a slow process. Uh, we submit something. Uh, it's generally okay but they'll ask one or two questions which cause the architect to go back to the drawing board on something. They need to do their thing and resubmit and then it takes basically another week of city review uh, before we get that approval. So hopefully by next week we will have that and, and they can start to get in, in the ground with foundation work. Um, so that's 1201 West Benton. And then the last thing, I talked a couple of weeks ago about the ACT exploration and what we were doing there or hoping to do. Um, and I don't have any update on that project. Um, we submitted an offer to the developer on Friday, August, Friday July 12th. Um, that is almost three weeks ago and we do not have a counter offer or really any indication of, of what he is thinking at this point. I don't wanna be a nuisance, uh, but I also don't wanna bid against ourselves. So we're just kinda of trying to patiently wait for, uh, for the developer to get back to us with uh, either an indication of we need to increase our offer to X, uh, and then we can figure out uh, whether that will work for us, uh, or hey, yeah, we like this, and, and here's the timeline for moving forward. So that's where we stand with the ACT project. I wish I had more information to share with you and as soon as I do have it I will share it with you um, but that's that's it for now I hope you're all doing well and I will talk with you again in two weeks take care